All right, welcome back to another episode of Jim's Outdoors. Uh, it's a rainy day here. We was hoping to go out to the lake and do some wintertime fishing, but I ain't going out there and get pneumonia. It's pouring down rain and then ice. So today we're stuck, unfortunately, back here in the shop. Today I want to talk about addiction. The first thing with addiction is you got to admit you have a problem. I have four addictions. One, school pine cup. Can't go nowhere with that. Second edition, orange sun kiss. Can't live without it. Third, catfish. Fourth is the worst addiction I've ever had in my life. And that is these are Boo Garcia C3s. Now, <laughs> this, I have I have more of these reels than one man should probably have, which I'm going to put a uh, picture up here at the end of this segment. But these are good reels. I've got to fish with these for a while. Uh, these catfish specials are, you know, they kind of tug at my heart because the paint job, but they're a smooth reel. Once you get these set up right, you don't have any problem with a bird nest. I, I never thought that I would ever be able to use one of these reels, these bait casting reels. I always had problems with the bird nests. And once I had one of these for a little while, a friend of mine showed me a thing or two, which we're going to pass on today. I, I haven't had a problem with the bird nest. I've got catfish specials. And I've got just the regular C3s. Now, you don't have to go out and buy the catfish specials. It's just preference for me. That's, that's what I keep on my boat. But I started out with these. Actually, I had a 6500 C-S, just an S, 6500S. That was the first one I had. I bought some of these C3s. I, I stuck to ask with the guy that loves the demon dragons. And he's he's going to watch this video and laugh. But these ain't hard to set up. I mean, it's just a break. Once you... They don't bird dust. These, these, if you've got these set up just right, and this one's just a little bit tight. I'll loosen that up just a little bit. That's, that's two ounce weight out there. Look at that. No bird nesting, no having to break, no nothing. If you've got these things set up right, you can cast these. You, you can spool these rods or reels. You can spool them out to nothing. So I myself never thought I'd ever be able to use one. But I, I really, really uh, fell in love with these. I mean, I could spend 15 minutes with you, and you, you'd be casting these like you have your whole life. But I've got all these rods back here. We're going to do a rod review later. I, I fished uh, most of these rods uh, most of the summer, except for uh, these slime rods. I just got these in. That's going to be a later video because I want to get some more time on the water with them. But... I have been fishing with these all summer, so... Now I'm going to apologize for the rain. It's it's really coming down, so just just ignore the rain noise. But I'll talk a little bit about the difference between, you know, I can't really see much of a difference between a straight C3 and uh, C 6500 C3 catfish special. I mean, 
as far as casting, they cast the same. They they pull the same when reeling in. Uh, they both have 15 pounds of uh, drag on them. They uh, both come with uh, parts list and uh, warranty information. But the straight C3, just it don't come with a power handle, which is an $11 upgrade, 11, 12 bucks, depending on where it's at. But I don't particularly care for the double, because when I'm reeling in, I keep smacking my pinky knuckle on that. So, 12 bucks, you know, that, that's a really good upgrade. But, uh, I really, really ain't much of a difference. If you put the boxes side by side in front of the camera, all the specs are exactly the same. So I guess all you're buying is a, a paint job, which, uh, you know, if you can afford a paint job, that's that's fine. But other than that, I mean, I, I fell in love with these reels. I, uh, I, I fished with some other stuff. I, I've had some Shakespeare bait casters, and I've had, uh, what else have I had? I've had quite a few other stuff. And I had some rods that had line counters on them, and I don't know. Some of them just feel like you're reeling in junk. I mean, why? These are smooth, smooth cast, smooth reel. I mean, the first time, first time I ever got to use one, we, uh, I didn't think I could use it. So, a buddy of mine, same one with the Demon Dragons. So he. He showed me how to cast it. About the third cast, he said, launch out as far as you can. So I launched it. I launched it clear over top of the semi-trailer. <laughs> Poor Chucky. <laughs> Chucky ain't very tall. Poor Chucky, he, he scrambled up the side of a semi-trailer, try, trying to get up on top of the box to go get that because the sinker and the line was stuck over top of the <laughs> semi-trailer. So, uh... That was the first time I ever casted, you know, any of these Abu Garcias. And I went out and I bought that, that S right off the bat, and uh, I fished with it for, I don't know, I, a little while, and then some of these, some of these uh, came into the last stop down there, and uh, I picked them up, and then I just, I've been buying them ever since, as a matter of fact, when the catfish trestles come in, <laughs> never calls me first and say, "Hey, you want two more?" So I don't know. I might want two more, but not right now. Uh, got to got to get some more rods together, and, and I want to try them out. So probably by about June, we'll do a rod review. I've got uh, catch the fever rods. Uh, I got four of them, two of them striper rods, and the others. Big big cat fever, big cat fever rods, and I got a couple anvil rods. I fished with the anvil rods last year. Then uh, I've got slime cat, two slime cat rods. But uh, we're hopefully going to the catfish conference if they don't close it down in Kentucky this year so uh, we'll, we'll feature that here on the channel a little bit hopefully and uh, hopefully when we're down here we're gonna get a couple other rods to try I guess there's some mad cat mad cat rods I'd like to get a hold of a couple of them get them here on the channel and do a review on them so but Unfortunately, thanks to the weather, this is the video we're going to have today. I wanted to be out fishing, but maybe we'll get lucky and tomorrow we'll go out fishing. I tried to get the boat out and drag it in here, but uh, they're, they're, they're put up for the winter. I'll, I'll bring them in in early March and we'll start getting them ready to go. So we'll, uh, we'll try to do some other content between now and then. So 
So thanks for tuning in this week, or today, and this week, yeah, today. And uh, we'll hopefully have another video for you tomorrow or the next day. But anyhow, Happy New Year. Hope to God 21 is a lot better than last year. So we can only hope. So thanks for tuning in. We'll see you.